Hey guys, and welcome back to Project Zero or Fatal Frame. Welcome back to the Muro Mansion. Let's continue looking for our brother. We have his camera now, uh, so we're not defenseless like we once were. Um, <laughs> however, you always kind of feel defenseless in this game. At least I do. And um, I have kind of been looking. Uh, at some tips for this game as well to trying to avoid being utterly destroyed like I was originally oh hello there are lots of antiques here but in poor repair the owner's hobby maybe yeah maybe there's a line mark yeah how there's a medicine container near the yes that's what we want medicine excellent so gotta get quick ready quick um okay oh Hey, bro's shadow. You right, bro? I uh, really didn't want to fire that off twice, but not sure why we have two or three buttons on the controller that fire the camera. Uh, don't know. That's kind of like a strange one on me, to be honest. But hey, we'll roll with it. The clock stopped at eleven forty-five. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. I wonder if that's important. Eleven forty-five. It might be. I might write that down in my book. Now, this is where our brother... Encountered that ghost. It's locked. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there. Yeah, that's pretty ominous. Maybe someone or something is in there. Alright, well, let's keep going. Yeah, we we'll get that camera angle again, which I actually really like. Ah, what's down the st Ooh, hello. Something on the floor. Another herbal medicine. Ooh. Damn. Missed him. Can't find a key. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about the key. It looks like you dropped it, sir. Yeah, so uh, I think getting all of those is kind of important. Oh. Huh. What did you drop for me, buddy? There's a box of film. You dropped some Type 14. I mean, that's cool. I suppose we'll have it. Why not? Oh, it's her again. Like a small child. Looks very small. Word, yeah. Camera controls too. In Finder mode, you can see things that aren't that can't be seen with the, a naked eye. Try taking a photo if the controller vibrates or if you hear strange noises. Okay, we can do that. No folding screen in the photo. A door appears where the screen should be. Ooh. Guess that makes sense. Yeah. There seems to be a hidden door behind the folding screen. Yeah. Um, some kind of ghostly apparition there as well I'm sure that's about uh, I don't know buddy I'm gonna try and help you find the key I guess all right so where are we now on the map okay 
Not sure why that door is yellow. No, I mean, I guess we can go back through it. Not sure what yellow means. Is it still yellow? It is. So what does yellow mean? I'm guessing red doors are doors that we haven't tried. That's not a door. That is a door. And it's an open door. Ooh. So what do we have here? Now what colour is that? That one's green. Is it because it was a hidden door? There's a small piece of paper on the chest. It looks like a news clipping. Uh, late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himuru Mountain. Located in the southern region of the prefecture, the body's hands, feet, head were torn off. The police are investigating the case as both a murder and an accident. Yeah, that'd be a hell of an accident, wouldn't it? You just lose every limb in your body. Uh, the body has not been identified, but it is believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police is... The police is... Is this going to be the police are? Also taking into account... Or taking into consideration the fact that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same location 15 years ago. Ah. Interesting. Ooh. The woman in a kimono is coming. Yeah, we've seen her actually. If I go to photos, wandering man. Oh, we didn't get. We didn't get anything for our brother. Okay. Fine. There's some weird funk going on here. Someone's definitely having a mutter to themselves. Oh, what have we got? There's a box of film. Ah, Type 37. I believe Type 37 is like more powerful. Regular film has fairly strong exorcism exorcismal power. Hmm. And the other one is uh, old beat up film. It doesn't have very strong power. <clears throat> okay, so we've got three herbal medicines, which is cool. So what's in here then? Can we open this? Someone's making a racket behind here. Hello? Oh. That was a tape player. A very beat up tape player. Oh, shit. Oh, stop. Why? Why is there so... Okay, right. So, I have three freaking bu buttons on my control pad that take fucking photos, apparently. Ooh. Who's this chap? He hid in the... So he hid in the closet. Oh, she came for him. Savage, so he tried to hide, but she was having none of it. What was that? Found a tape recorder in the closet. 
audio tape has been left inside the tape recorder. An audio tape with a white label. It stops in the middle. And this door is opened. Ooh. Okay. That's where we came in. Definitely needs. Ooh. Okay. Couldn't actually get that person. Something on the floor. Nice. There's loads of kimonos here. And looks like there's a small mirror stand, but the mirror is missing. The drawer is locked. So I guess that's what we need a key for. Okay. Now. Oh, there's something there, Miku. Get that camera ready. Oh. I guess that's the dude we were just following? Oh, don't worry, buddy. We'll give you some help. Don't worry, pal. Help is coming. Help in the form of the camera. Ooh. Right, so I'm getting the fact... I'm getting the fact that the camera doesn't always hit the enemy. Even when you think it should. The camera began to glow with mystical power. The camera seal. Power-ups. About power-ups, you can acquire mystical power by damaging ghosts. Select camera from the menu screen. Ah. Access the power-up screen and you can unlock the seal on the camera. With the accumulated mystical power and power-up. Okay, when you unlock auxiliary function seal, you can enable many special attacks. To use the enabled auxiliary function, push the L1 button whilst in a shooting stance. The number of auxiliary functions you can use is limited, so to the number of spirit stones in your inventory. So be frugal. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, it's not that, it's the flashing thing that we want. So we found the white tape. Um, right, so now we can upgrade the camera as well, apparently. That's what film we've got loaded. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of an interesting fart sound effect there, trying to load that in. Uh, basic performance. Bonus functions. Special functions. Unlock the ox functions. I would like to upgrade the basic functions, I think. Widens the capture circle. Yeah, I get the feeling that that's going to be a useful feature. Wow, that gets expensive. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Alright, I kind of like that, you know. Um, right. So... I guess we got the white. Ah, uh, hang on. We can, we can listen to these tapes somehow. If we go to files, uh, scraps. Oh God. What the hell is this? Oh man. Okay, so they're the two people. Assistant. So that's all we've got at the moment. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, notebook. 
News clippings. Late yesterday. Yeah, we found that. Ah, tape recorder. You cannot use... Oh, right, okay. Oh, right. We have to use these in our inventory, I guess. September 9th, 5.40 p.m. The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. Yes, I could imagine that would be quite disconcerting. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night. So we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. Interesting. Okay. I like the idea of these tapes. I do. Right. Let's get out of here. So, really. Ooh. I can feel something coming from the mirror stand. Yeah, no shit. Ooh. Something shows in the photo. It looks like the lion mask near the sunken fireplace. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go back to the sunken fireplace. Uh, right, is there anywhere else we can go? Oh, the map loads nice and fast as well. I like it when the map loads fast. That's ooh. Yeah, we got the creepo voices again. In there. Yeah, we got creepo voices right in this corner. But uh, I guess we can't do anything with those. At least not yet, anyway. Anything behind here? Nah. I think we just did a creepy ass room, to be honest. Right, let's get out of here. Um, there's a little bit of exploring left to do. In the other room. And what's interesting, if we... Oh. Um, can we... Oh. Oh. This is actually a ghost fight. Come on, you little bitch. Ah, that'll do. That'll do, Donker. That'll do. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Woman in a white kimono. We heard you like the first time, dude. Uh, funny enough, actually, my dude, uh, we've seen her. Now, what's down here? Ooh, stuff. I like stuff. Herbal medicine on the floor. Cool. Doors nailed shut. Can't open it. Uh, I'm going to have to look back at my old videos. Held by a powerful force. And see if I actually struggled on any of these fights. Because these have been, so far, fairly easy. But... I don't know. I think it was fairly easy. Right, the sunken fireplace room is just through this door. Until, like, the second night. Holy shit, man. It got hard. Like, it just went from kind of, like, 1 or 2 to 11. Now, the sunken fireplace. There's something uh, reflecting light inside the ornamental lion mask. Red hand mirror. Okay, I found a red hand mirror inside the ornamental line mask. I got the red hand mirror. Okay, let's go put the mirror back in the box, I guess. Fetch quest 101. 
You know, the actual design of this game is very Resident Evil. And I'm a fan. I don't know... Ooh. Man in the closet. Did we get anything for that? Now, um... Photo. Yeah, we actually got something for that. Okay, happy with that, I suppose. Uh, not sure why these games never got a re-release, to be honest. Like a HD pack. From what I can understand... Ooh, spoopy. Nothing. Check behind you, Miku. Okay, so that was empty. Yeah, from what I can understand, this game's kind of in license hell uh, with Nintendo. Uh, I need to look into it because I could be talking completely out of my ass. It does happen. Ooh. Did we not get anything for that? No. Really? Yeah, so there's some bullshit at play as well with the with the whole um, camera thing. Uh, it just doesn't, I guess, obviously, it just doesn't always work. Which is a bit silly, but there we go. Yeah, um, I know the Maidens of Blackwater that came out on the Wii U was like a last big push for the series. They kind of went a little bit all out on it from what I can understand um, and it obviously really didn't sell very well because it's on the Wii U um, not sure why they put it on the Wii U which was a dying console and then got disheartened because their game didn't sell but hey there we go should have brought it out on everything so I I Guess the chance of us actually. Yes, bound in chains. Ropes. Editor's photo. I can see the faint shadow of ropes on the man's neck and arms and legs. Ooh, I got a small key from the drawer. Looks old. I wonder if it's the key to some door. Oh, hello. Ah, we got to fight him again. All right. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, he's moving a little bit quicker now. Damn, you had your red ball this morning, buddy. That hurt him. Or at least I think it should have hurt him. Not really sure how this is working, to be honest. Come on. There we go. That was a good shot. Z that was a zero shot, yeah. I know zero shots are key to doing crazy amounts of damage, but some of the ghosts are quite difficult. Look, I've helped you, buddy, okay? Your soul is mine. But it is. Well, I mean, you're in my camera now. There's something shiny where the ghost stood. Spirit stone. This mysterious stone enhances the camera's power and enables auxiliary functions. Yeah, but we don't have any. And I don't think I'm going to put anything into auxiliary functions just yet. I like the idea of getting the basic performance up. Because <laughs> this will always be useful. And if the bonus functions are like one-shot things... Increases the maximum charge value of mystical power. That could be useful. Let's get the speed going a little bit. Charge it up a little bit faster. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Haven't actually been hit yet, which is nice as well. Um, there's something... I get the feeling... Ooh. Where's that? I can hear it. I can hear it, but I can't see it. There's some funk right there. 
But I can see the funk, but... There we go. Woman in kimono. Yeah, so the game seems to be heavily centered around her. Which makes sense. Hmm. So, as I was saying, it's games like this, um, series like this, really, that really made uh, the PlayStation 2's generation, and so many of them just aren't being uh, brought back, which is such a shame. Um, so, we've got a key. Is there any information on the key as to where it goes? Oh, I have an idea. Let's have a look at the key. Brass key. You cannot use this item. An old-fashioned key made for, of brass. Yeah, wasn't there? She keeps turning her head and looking at stuff. And that keeps making me think there's some shit somewhere. Um, yeah, so... I'm guessing... That key's for the locked door upstairs that Mifuyu found. Guess we're going to find out. Yeah, the door on this side is broken. It won't move at all. And this one, there were nothing in there apart from that creepy ghost man. And who shuts that door afterwards? Seems a bit spoopy. Uh, so I guess after two videos, uh, nearly, am I enjoying this game? Uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> and I hope this enjoyment's going to continue, but I know this game does... Does... Uh, get hard. I know it does. Ooh. Okay. I mean, we could have guessed that we are going up here anyway, and we're almost out of time again. It keeps happening to us, doesn't it? No. Did we, we did check through here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. We did. Uh, I've also heard that burning through your film too quickly is really bad. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well... Ah, uh, there's a black padlock. Yes, we're going to use the brass key. Uh, we're going to be burning through our film at a rapid rate. Ooh. There's an old book written in charcoal ink on the shelf underneath the urn. Interesting. Secret rituals of the... Himuro family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through the generations of the Himuro family. Most of them are lost. There are uh, the only things that we have left now are some documents that recorded these rituals in as legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuro family members are dead, and those who were close to the family have kept quiet about the rituals. One ritual in particular, performed on December the 13th, is shrouded in mystery. People who lived near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day. And even now, it's considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual. But the truth remains unknown. Hmm. Okay. So some bad voodoo went down in this house. is basically what you're trying to tell us. And we're dealing with the aftermath of that bad voodoo. There's something on the floor. More herbal medicine. Fuck yeah. Right, so we're in a big... This is a big room. Okay. We've got a lot of open doors. If I remember correctly, isn't this a save room? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Well remembered that man. And by that man I of course mean that me. Oh there's loads of shit in here. Audio tape in front of the doll. Red tape. Right. I think I remember. Um, the different colour tapes are done by different people. I think. There are several pieces of paper on the shelf. They look like part of a red notebook. Ah. Yes. August 20th. It seems like the folklorist named Ryuzo. Uh was studying about the various rituals that passed down the, uh, at the Himuro mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in a library somewhere. 
August 30th. I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ortega from the editing department do a search for it. Although I doubt he'd be able to find it though. I put a piece of the notebook in my file. Okay. There's, there is something inside the drawer. Oh, nice. So there are items around that don't, there's a small door here, but it's now shut, I can't open it. So there are items around that um, don't show up. Damn it, I searched that and now I don't know what it says. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna save it here, guys. There's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot, we can. We can also edit album data. What's all that about then? Create a new album. Fo uh, yes. Right, okay. Uh, I guess this is like if you want to keep photos of stuff. I mean, I don't know why you uh, want to. You must save to record. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're going to save there anyway, guys. So far, this game's been absolutely fine. Um, you know, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that wicked difficulty spike. I'm going to look back at my old video and see how bad I played then. Uh, I'm going to be quite curious about that, to be honest. But so far, smooth sailing, and it's been fun. I've really enjoyed this. Uh, let's hope that continues. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.